Hello, I would like to apply for a permit. Can I see your ID? No, I left it in the car. I'm going to need to see your ID and $27 for your permit. One moment while I go and get my ID. Make it quick. Okay, here's my ID and the $27. Thanks. Now fill this out. Do you have a pen that I can use? Use this one. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Turn the application in at window B. Have you taken the written test yet? No, I haven't. You should study before you take it. I have been studying. Why don't you take the test? Do you know if it costs any money to take it? Since you already paid for your permit, you don't have to pay again. All right. Do you know if the test covers the whole book? No, the test skips a lot of things in the book. Did you pass it the first time you took it? No, I didn't because it was pretty hard. Well, I hope that I do well. So you know how to drive, right? I'm pretty good. Do you think you can teach me? Did you get your learner's permit yet? I have it already. Do you have any experience driving a car? I've only done it once. Do you know all the controls in the car? Yes, I'm aware of them. When did you want to start learning how to drive? Whenever you have time. We can do it tomorrow. Just call. Do you want to practice your driving right now? No problem. We can do it right now. Are you buckled up? All right. Now what do I do? Start the car. Which way do you want me to go? Take a left. How far do you want me to go? I'll tell you when to stop. Just make sure to tell me beforehand. We're back now, so why don't you try parking? Well, that was fun. Let's do it again soon. So how did I do on my driving test? Do you want the truth? Of course I do. Wow, you really didn't do all that well. How bad did I do? To be completely honest, you failed your test. How? There were a number of reasons. What were they? Basically, you just can't drive. Can I have another try? You can take it in a couple weeks. How did I do on my driving test? You did great on the test. Did I pass my test? You passed with flying colors. Did I mess up at all on my test? There was only one thing. What was it? You had some problems with parking. Parking is always the hardest thing for me. You should practice that. I will, but in the meantime, do I get my license? Yes, you got your license. I need to get my driver's license. You need to take your driving test. Have you? No, I still need to take it. Please fill out this paperwork. All right, but will I be able to take my test today? Actually, you're going to have to make an appointment first. May I make one right now, please? Sure, you can. The soonest day available will be this Friday. Friday will be fine. What time can you come in? I would like to do it sometime in the morning. I'll schedule you for eleven o'clock Friday morning. I need to find somewhere to park. Off campus or on campus? I need to find a space on campus. Why don't you park in the parking structure for students? Where is the parking structure at? It's on the west side of the campus. Do you know if the parking structure is full or not? It was empty last time I went up there. How long ago was that? I went up there early this morning. Do you think it'll be full now? It might be. You'll have to go see for yourself. Have you ever gotten a parking ticket? I've never gotten one. Have you? I got a ticket yesterday. <laughs> really? What did you get one for? I parked in the red zone. Why did you do that? I needed to get something really quick. Where did you park at? At my apartment building. Don't you have your own parking spot? I needed to be fast. That was very lazy of you. Have you ever gotten a parking ticket? I've gotten a few. How many is a few? I've gotten about six. Have you paid all your tickets off? Yes, I've paid all of them off. How much is the fine? It's like a hundred and thirty dollars each ticket. That's not cheap at all. I got a parking ticket the other day. Pay it off, and they'll clear your record. I'm going to do that as soon as possible. Is there a problem, officer? Did you notice that stop sign that you ran through? I'm sorry, I didn't even notice it. You didn't see it. I honestly couldn't see it because of the bushes growing over it. That's true. Those bushes are a problem. I swear that I didn't mean to run it. I can understand why you didn't stop for it. Are you going to give me a ticket today, sir? Under the circumstances, I think I'm just going to let you go with a warning. Thanks a lot. No problem. Next time, just pay closer attention. Is there a problem, officer? I stopped you for driving through a red light. Did I really? You didn't know. I had no idea that I ran it. Don't you know that yellow means slow down? Yes, ma'am. Why'd you speed up instead? I really have no excuse, ma'am. 
I'll have to write you a ticket. I understand, and I'm very sorry. Here's your ticket. You're here today to argue your ticket. I am. Plead your case. The police officer that pulled me over said I was speeding. Were you speeding when you got pulled over? I was not speeding. How fast were you going? In a 40 mile per hour zone, I was only going about 35. Well, seeing as the officer that pulled you over isn't here, I'll let you go. Do I still need to pay the fine? No, you don't. I appreciate your understanding. What are you here for today? I need to fight this ticket that I got. Is the arresting officer here? Yes, he is, your honor. Plead your case. I was told by the officer that I ran a red light. That information isn't true. Why would the officer lie? I'm not sure, but the signal had a camera on it. Did the camera take a picture of your license plate? No, my picture wasn't taken. There was no picture taken, so I'll let you go. Thank you very much, your I need to pay for the fine on my ticket. Do you have a ticket with you? Yes, I have my ticket with me. Let me see your ID. I forgot to bring that with me. You need it to pay for your fine. Why can't I just give you the money for the fine? Because I need to see a photo ID in order to verify who you are. Okay, I think I understand. All right, come back and bring your ID. So once I pay this off, my record will be cleared? Once you pay it, your record will be cleared. Pasadena Traffic School, how can I help you? I would like to sign up for some classes. What classes do you want to sign up for? I need to take a driver's course. You'll have to make an appointment. What do I need to make an appointment for? You need an appointment so you can sign the papers. All right. Can I make an appointment right now? When are you available? Can I make it for tomorrow at 9 a.m.? I can schedule for that day and time. Thanks a lot. I'll be there tomorrow. What can I do for you today? I have a question. What do you need to know? I need to take the driver's course. How many hours do I need? It depends on what you're trying to do with the completion of the course. I need to get my license. You're going to need to complete six hours. How many hours a day can I do? You can do two hours a day for three days. That's all I need to do to finish? Yes, that's all you need to do. Thanks. I'll get back to you. Hey, man, you hit my car. I really didn't mean to. It doesn't matter because you damaged my car. <laughs> it looks okay to me. Look what you did to my rear bumper. What's wrong with it? My bumper smashed in. I didn't do that. Your front bumper is just as damaged. If you just give me your number and insurance, then I'll handle it. Here, I'd better get a call from you. Don't worry. Was there an accident on the freeway today? You haven't heard about it? No. Don't you know what happened? This truck flipped over on the 210. Are you serious? I'm telling you the truth. Did anyone get hurt? Two people were injured. Are they going to be okay? I think so. Well, that's a miracle that no one was killed. Yes, they were lucky. Hello, how may I help you? I need to ask you something about my insurance. What's your question? Did you make any changes to my insurance? What kind of changes are you referring to? My premium isn't the same. Is there a problem with your premium? Did you guys raise my premium? Yes, we did go up on the premiums. Why wasn't I told of this change? I apologize, and next time we will make sure to let you know. I'd appreciate that. I would like to purchase some health insurance. Have you ever purchased health insurance before? I have health insurance now, but I want to look into other choices. Do you know if you're interested in an HMO or a PPO? Could you explain the difference to me? To clarify it for you, with a PPO, you may pay more, but you get to choose your own doctor. When I pay for a service, is the payment the same for a PPO or HMO? The payments are quite a bit higher for the PPO, but you can go anywhere you like. How much will an HMO cost me per month? Go to our website and fill in the questionnaire. Once we have all of your information, we can give you a quote. 
What seems to be the problem? Oh my god, it's my stomach. It's killing me. Where does it hurt the most? Right here. It hurts right here. How long has it felt like this? It felt okay when I woke up and then suddenly I had this really sharp pain. Do you have a history of stomach pain? No, and I haven't done anything out of the ordinary. Well, I think that we're going to have to get you into an emergency room right away. Thank you for helping me. Sorry to bother you, but I was wondering if you could drive me to the emergency room. Of course. What is the problem? I am running a really high fever of 105 degrees and I have a rash on my stomach. If you can, go and unlock the back door so I can get in when I get there if you fall asleep. I can do that when I get off the phone. Do you know where your driver's license and insurance card are? I already had them out before I called you. Where is your nearest emergency room? It's just a few blocks away. Fine, I'm on my way. I'll be there in about five minutes. You don't look so good. I have a major stomach ache. Did you eat something strange? I had spaghetti with clam sauce for lunch. Maybe you have food poisoning. Yes, that could have been it, but I haven't been feeling that great for the past few days. Are you under a lot of stress? Not really. Things have been going okay. Maybe you have a touch of the flu. I think that I might be getting the flu. Doctor, I have the worst toothache. How long have you had this pain? For about a week or so, but it's gotten really bad in the last couple of days. Did you do anything that might have aggravated your tooth? You know... I was eating jawbreakers in the movies the other day, and I accidentally bit down really hard on one. What kind of toothbrush do you use? I just use a regular hard bristle toothbrush. Does it bother you when you eat something really cold? Yes, it definitely bothers me more when I do that. Excuse me, could you help me pick out a lotion? Sure. What is the problem? I got poison oak while hiking, and I need something to help me with the itching. I can suggest a product called Techno that comes in a lotion or cream. Which do you prefer? Hikers tell me that the cream is best because it stays on longer. Is there anything else I can do to help with the itching? You can take an antihistamine. Thank you so much for all your information. You are welcome. Please feel free to ask me a question anytime you need help. I need to get my prescription filled. You may pick it up in 20 minutes. If I wanted to, could I have it mailed to me? Yes, and you can renew this prescription by phone. Are there any special instructions about this medication? Take it three times a day. Can I take it with food? You should take this medicine with food and no alcohol. Are there any side effects with this medication? You might get a little dizzy, but that is it. Hi, I was wondering if you had my test results in. I didn't see anything out of the ordinary, but I want you to log onto our website for a printout of all of the details. So basically, I am okay? If there were any major problems, I would always notify you by phone to come in. What will I learn when I see the results on the website? A description of each test is given on the site. What will the numbers tell me? The website will give you a normal range and then tell you what your results are. Are all of my test results on that site? Your entire test history is on the site. You can compare your results from over the years. Good morning. Is this Ryan? You are speaking with Ryan. How can I help you? Ryan, this is Malia, and I need to call in sick today. What seems to be the problem? I went hiking and have terrible poison oak. <gasps> when did you get that? Oh, I think I got it on Saturday, but it just showed up today. What are you doing for it? The doctor prescribed an ointment and gave me a shot. Good. You probably should be much better by tomorrow. Hi, is this Professor Clark's office? This is Professor Clark speaking. Hi, this is Kalia from Morning Literature Class. Yes, what can I do for you? I had a skydiving accident over the weekend and won't be able to come to school today. <gasps> my goodness, are you okay? I broke my leg, but it is healing. How long will you be out of class? I should be able to return by next Monday. Fine. Well, thanks for calling and let me know you will be absent. I hope you feel better soon. Hi. I was wondering if I could get my test results from the other day. Yes, I would like to schedule an appointment for you to come in and talk with me. 
Is something wrong with me? No, sometimes the test results aren't clear, and we need to do more to get a clearer picture. Can we talk about it now? I would if I knew anything for sure, but I want to take a second look. When can I come and see you? You can come in this afternoon. If you would feel better, bring your husband with you. Now I know that something bad is up. Just relax. We will talk about it this Professor, excuse me, but I need to leave early. What seems to be the problem? I am not feeling well. What is bothering you? I think I'm beginning to have an a- asthma attack. Would you like someone to walk you over to the student health center? No, I, I think I should just go home because I have mm, some medicine there. Do you need a ride home? Uh, I live in the dorms across the street, so I- I'll be okay. Okay. Then hope you feel better soon. Check your email for missed assignment. The doctor sent me over here to have my blood drawn. Certainly. Please have a seat and roll up your left sleeve. What is this test for? Well, today your doctor wants to check your white blood cell count. What does that tell him? Well, if it is elevated, you might have an infection. Will the blood test hurt? It is only a little pin stick. I'm going to put on a tourniquet on your arm to puff your veins up. Ouch! There we go. I got the blood that I need. I came to this lab to have my blood drawn. You are in the right place. Roll up your left sleeve and have a seat. What am I being tested for? Your doctor wants to know what your white blood cell count is. What does my white blood cell count tell him? Usually, if your white count is off, the doctor suspects an infection. How much will it hurt? It is only a pinprick. I have to put this tourniquet on your arm to make the vein easier to find. Is that my blood going into that tube? That blood that just filled the tubes is all that I needed. Thanks for coming. Hi, I need to make an appointment to see the doctor. What seems to be the problem? I have a rash that I need a doctor to look at. (sighs) Do you have a fever with that rash? No, it just itches a lot. I have an opening on Tuesday or Wednesday. Which would be best for you? I need an appointment on Tuesday. Fine. I am putting you down for 9 o'clock on that day. Would you like to see Dr. Smith or Dr. Jones? I would like to see Dr. Jones. I can schedule you with him with no problem. We look forward to seeing you. Have you been having any problems lately? No, but the nurse at school says that I should have my blood pressure checked. Do you have a history of high blood pressure? No, I have never been told that I have high blood pressure. High blood pressure is called the silent killer because it hardly ever has symptoms. How do you check for high blood pressure? We are going to use this cuff here and it will give me a reading. What do the numbers mean? They tell me how much your heart is working at the rest and when pumping blood. Good. That will help me know how I am doing. How are you feeling today? I'm pretty tired. I haven't been sleeping well. Do you have enough time to get the right amount of sleep? I have enough time. I just can't seem to fall asleep and stay asleep. What time do you usually go to bed? I don't have one time in particular. I just go to sleep whenever I feel tired. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? I just lost my job. And I am unsure about being able to find another one. Have you ever tried doing relaxation exercises before you go to bed? I haven't ever tried that, but it sounds like a good idea. Good morning. How are you doing today? I have been feeling pretty good, Dr. Smith. So, I can see by your chart that you are here for your annual physical. Yes, I am playing on the tennis team this year, and they are requiring me to get a physical exam. We are basically going to check your heart, lungs, blood sugar levels, and eyes, ears, and nose. I've been kind of having problems being out of breath. Can you look at that? Yes, I will I will check for your asthma. And maybe we can check for your allergies later. Thank you. What will the blood test tell you? We'll be checking for blood sugar, cholesterol, and white blood cell count. I have been working hard to stay healthy. I hope that the tests turn out well. Hello, I need a doctor's appointment right away. Is this an emergency? I am having trouble breathing. Have you had a cold lately? It has been going on for a few days now. You should hang up and dial 911. I don't think that this is that bad, but I need to see a doctor right away. Is there someone who can drive you to our urgent care facility on Sunset Boulevard? Yes, I can get a ride to urgent care. Good. When you get there, a doctor will be able to see you right away. 
I was told to come to you to get a chest x-ray. No problem. Just take your clothes off from the waist up and put the gown on with the opening in the back. Then what should I do? You will stand over here up against this plate. Should I just stand naturally? You will raise your arms up shoulder high. Is this all right? Yes, you are doing great. Uh, where will you be going? I need to stand behind this shield. Now you will take a deep breath, hold it, and let it out. Is that it? That's it. You can get dressed when the film is developed. I've been having a lot of headaches lately. Have you been having these headaches for a long time? I have had headaches my whole life, but they have been getting worse lately. Have you been under a lot of stress lately? I've been under stress, but no more than usual. Have you been getting enough sleep lately? No, I only sleep a few hours a night. Have you had any head injuries lately? Yes, actually, I fell skiing last week and hit my head. I am going to send you for a CT scan, and I will see you again when we see the results. Hello, how are you doing today? I've been having trouble breathing lately. Have you had any type of cold lately? No, I haven't had a cold. I just have a f heavy feeling in my chest when I try to breathe. Do you have any allergies that you know of? No, I don't have any allergies that I... Wondering if you could I was wondering if you could help me use the Student Job Center. There are many ways. What kind of job would you like? Hmm, I want to work in a restaurant. Fine. Will you need part-time or full-time work? I want to work part-time. Fine. The two best ways are to use our local listing binders over there, or you can use the computers with the Internet job listing sites. See them over there? Yes, I know what to do. Well, in addition, you can schedule an appointment with the job counselor on this list. If you would like to do that, sign here, okay? Yes, I think that would be great. Fine. Well, the job search tools are all here for you to use. Feel free to look around and use what works best for you. Have fun with it. Hi, I'm here for my job interview. Fine, have a seat. May I get you some water or coffee? Sure, thank you. I'll get that for you right now. Uh, thank you. What a nice office this is. Yes. Could you come in now? I'm going to take you back to meet your interviewer, Mr. Goss. Good morning. I am here for my interview. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Have any trouble finding place? No problem. So, why don't you tell me why you are interested in changing positions? Unfortunately, our company is shutting down due to the economy. What would you consider your strengths? I am probably best at researching for marketing purposes. What is your biggest weakness? I tend to get bored easily and so love to keep myself challenged. We have a position where that could work out well. Good morning. Thank you for the interview. No problem. For the interview. Good morning. Thank you for the interview. No problem. Now, do you prefer working with others or flying solo? Actually, I enjoy both. So, what is most important to you in a job? Do you need job security or professional growth and a chance to advance? I need job security. Would you be able to relocate? I am open to relocating. What are your annual salary requirements? I need at least $75,000 per year. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for coming in today. We'll be in touch. May I ask you how much this position pays per year? This job pays $65,000 per year. What kind of benefits does this job have? This job provides full medical, dental, and disability. What type of vacation time do we get? You get three weeks paid vacation that you may use as you wish. Do we have a 401k? We offer a 401k with some matching funds available depending on length of service. What type of professional development do you offer? We provide up-to-date training on state-of-the-art equipment. Where do I sign up for my benefits package? Down the hall. I'll show you when the interview is over. Hello, is this Mr. Wallace? Yes, this is Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, this is the Xenon Company. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Mr. Wallace, we are very pleased with your interview and would like to offer you the position. Wonderful. I'm very happy to be able to join your organization. We are interested in having you begin as soon as possible, perhaps in two weeks? Yes, that would be perfect. Okay, then. We will see you then. Hello, this is Ray. May I speak with Lee? Yes, this is Lee speaking. Hi, Lee. 
How are you today? Oh, things are going great. What's up? I was wondering if you could meet me tomorrow for lunch. Sure. Where did you have in mind? I was thinking of Joe's in the Village. I love that place. Sure, let's go there. Fine, then. I'll meet you around 12. I'll see you there. Look forward to it. Excuse me, I was wondering how to order office supplies. We have a requisition form on the company website. What type of supplies do you need? I need paper, ink, cartridges, and paper clips. How quickly will you need your supplies? I need all my supplies right away. We also will have to check your department budget. Do you know how much money you have for office supplies? I will check to see what my budget is. Would you like these supplies delivered, or would you like to pick them up? Please deliver them to my office. Fine. Well, just send the form to us, and we will let you know as soon as your supplies come in. Have a good day. Thank you. I was wondering if you needed any help on your new project. Sure, that would be great. Are you good at writing, or would you rather do the computer work? I'd like to help with the computer work. Great. We're going to be working in teams of three. Are you okay working with others? Yes, I like working like that. We will begin next Monday. Would you be available then? Yes, I can be there. Well, if you could send me your basic background information before next Monday, it would be very useful. Okay, I will send the information to you. Well then, thanks for your help. Have a great day. Can you help me plan the office party? Sure. What do you need the most help with, the food or the entertainment? I need help with food. Okay. Well, let's coordinate our efforts. Should this party be formal or casual? I think it should be casual. I agree. Next, we have to decide on food. We have a choice of Chinese or continental cuisine. Which one should we have? I would prefer Chinese food for this party. Perfect choice. For music, should we have a live band or a DJ? I think we should hire a live band. Okay, then. Well, I will work on my part and get back to you with my progress on Friday. Is there anything I can help you with? Yes, thank you. I'm really far behind on this project. Could you help me with the extra typing or Xeroxing? I can do either one. Good. That would be very helpful. Can you start with those pages over there? No problem. Thank you very much. How long have you been working here? I've been working here for five years. Well, we have some special projects coming up. Would you be interested in working on any of those? Yes. I would love to work on a special project. Well then, I'll keep you in the loop. Thank you for your help today. Can you help me with my timesheet? Sure, I can help you. Do you know where the timesheets are kept? No, I don't know where to find one. Well, once you get one off the shelf over there, you first put your name on it, okay? Yes, I can do that. Now you have to fill in the hours in the blanks and total the hours for the week. Do you know how to use military time? No, I don't know what that is. Okay, so we just start counting hours at midnight and record it. Show all minutes as a dot and then write down how many minutes, okay? Yes, I understand to do this. After your total hours, you make sure you sign it and turn it into your supervisor. That was easy. Good luck and let me know if you need any help later on. I need help figuring out how to use this phone. Sure. First you pick up the receiver and hit one of the first three buttons. Do you hear a tone? Yes, I hear a tone. Okay. Now you dial 9 on the keypad. Do you hear the tone change? Yes, it changed. Well, when you hear it change, that means you have an outside line. Where are you trying to call? I am trying to call home. Okay. Well, to dial the outside, you just now dial the number. For a call inside the company, you just hit the extension number. Do you know the extensions? Yes, I have a list of extensions. Well, if you ever need help with an extension, you can dial zero. I would like to make an appointment for a project meeting. Of course. I have Monday or Tuesday available. What day would be best for you? I would like to meet on Monday. Very well, then. Are mornings or afternoons best? I want to come in the morning. I will have my assistant check my calendar and get back to you with the exact time. Can you bring me an outline of the project when you come? Yes, I can bring the outline when I come to the meeting. Do you think that we should include the entire committee in the meeting or just our subcommittee? I think that we should have the subcommittee. Okay, then. I will make the arrangements for them to attend. Do you know how to get there? No, I need directions, please. Fine. We will make sure that we send you all of the information that you need. See you there. I had an appointment tomorrow, and I need to change it to a different date. Certainly. What day would be best for you? I think that Monday or Tuesday would be good for me. I can give you Monday. I have 10 or 11 in the morning. 
I think ten o'clock is best. Fine, I will put you down for that. That would be great. Happy I could help you. See you then. Excuse me for being late to work. Where have you been? My car broke down. That's too bad. Please try and fix it so that it doesn't happen again. Yes, I'll work on that. Thank you. Have a seat. We are working on the new project. Great. Fill me in. Let's take a look at the Campbell project. I don't understand the projected revenues. Let's take another look at it for those of you who don't understand. So tell me again, why couldn't you get the supplies I ordered? Well, I ordered them when you asked, but the supplier said they might need to backorder them. Okay. When do you think they will finally arrive? I think maybe Tuesday. If they don't arrive by then, what are our options? I could try another supplier down the street. That would work for me. Okay, I will stay on it and let you know how it's going. Thank you for taking care of the problem. Thank you for your business. We appreciate you as a client. She was pretty tall, about five feet ten inches, and kind of scary looking. What do you mean scary? Well, she had a crazy sounding laugh and wild hair. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. And her piercing eyes. She looked like an alien who just came down from outer space. Do you believe that people from outer? I was wondering if I could borrow the company van for a fundraiser this weekend. Sure, I think that would be possible. Where is the fundraiser? It is in the park downtown. Would you need it for both Saturday and Sunday? We will need it for Saturday only. I think that would be okay. Who will be driving it? Mary and I will be driving the van. Could you drop it off on Sunday night? Yes, we can do that. Can we borrow the chairs from the lunch room also? Yes, that'd be fine. Just make sure that everything is returned by Sunday night. I was thinking of holding the company retreat in the mountains. I agree. I think that would be perfect. I was thinking it could take place sometime in January. That might be a little too cold for some people. Yes, you're right. What about April? April has good weather that isn't too cold or too hot. Yes, that would work out better. You know, maybe we could take a survey to see how that works for everyone. Good idea. We'll have to get right on it. Fine. Well, I'll get right on it. Now, I was thinking about applying for the new position. Do you think that is a good idea? It seems like a good idea, but I'm not really sure. What are your main concerns? Well, it would give me a chance to grow, but I'm wondering if I would like the job. I know what you mean. I've thought about that myself. I also am thinking about the pay. Could you take a slight pay decrease for a chance to move forward? Yes, it might be worth it, but I'm not certain. I think I'm convinced that trying for this position is the best choice for you. Whoa! Look at all those ice cream choices. Yes, this is a lot of choices. What is your favorite? I love anything with chocolate the best. I like chocolate myself. Is there any kind of ice cream you don't like? I really don't like any ice cream with nuts in it. I haven't ever cared for that myself. Have you ever had garlic ice cream? That sounds absolutely disgusting. It was. Let's stick with the regular choices today, though. I need help preparing for my presentation on Friday. I could help you with that. Are you sure you have time? I promise you that I have the time to do this. If I didn't, I wouldn't offer to help. What would be the best time for you to help me? Tomorrow night would work for me. Should we just meet here? Okay, and I'll bring some information that helped me with my presentation. I'll see you then. See you tomorrow night. I was wondering if I could collect unemployment benefits. Did you get laid off? I am still working for now, but I might get laid off. You may collect unemployment if you are working fewer hours or got laid off. Does everyone who gets laid off get to collect unemployment? No, some jobs are exempt from paying into unemployment. How can I find out if I can collect? Your employer can tell you if you have been paying into unemployment and now qualify to collect. How will I know how much I can collect on unemployment? It depends on how much you earned. When you file, they will determine the amount. What forms should I fill out to collect unemployment? You need to fill out a special form to apply for unemployment benefits. 
Where do I get the application form for unemployment benefits? You can call the Employment Development Office and request a form. What information will I need to provide to apply for unemployment? Be prepared to provide your employer's name and address and what dates you worked. What else will the Employment Development Office need? You need to be prepared to show that your unemployment is not your fault. If you have a termination notice, that would be great. What will happen next? The Employment Development Office will call you for an interview. After I am accepted for unemployment benefits, what will happen next? You will receive a Notice of Unemployment Insurance Award Letter. What will that tell me? The award letter will tell you how much you will receive weekly. Are there any other forms that I need to fill out? You will need to fill out a continued claim form every two weeks. What information will I need to provide on that form? They will need to know where you worked and how much money you made. Are there any other questions on the form? Basically, they want to know that you are available for work and not... How do I get to the EDD? Actually, you do not need to go into the office to file a claim. You can do it over the phone or the internet. Can I go in to look for a job at their office? That's a good decision. They have many good job search tools there. Is there an office near me? The internet has a list of employment development offices listed online. Do you know where the local office for this area is? Our office is over on Green Street, just west of the college. If I go there, will I be able to collect money right away? Everyone has a one-week waiting period before they can collect. I am calling to find out why I didn't receive an unemployment check this week. Did you send in your continued claim form for the last period? I think I forgot to send it in. You need to be very careful to send that form in every two weeks if you want to get paid. Can I send it now? You should look at your claim form and see if it has been more than 14 days since it was due. If it hasn't been, we will still accept it. Can I mail it in early next time so it isn't late? Actually, you cannot mail it in early as it needs to reflect all of the information up to the due date. Will my paycheck come right away now? Your check will arrive a little late. Is there someone I can talk to about a payment question? Yes, we can handle that here. How can I help you? My paycheck that just arrived is less than last week's check. Did you work at all during the last pay period? Yes, actually. I did make a little bit of money. Did you report it on your continued claim form? Yes, I showed that income on the continued claim form. Well, we deducted a portion of the income that you made from this week's check. Maybe I just shouldn't show the income then. That is cheating, and if you get caught, you will be fined and disqualified from collecting unemployment. I was wondering if you could go over the services available at EDD to help me get a job. The best opportunity is called Cal Jobs, which is an internet-based job placement service that you can make use of. Do I have to have a computer at home? There are computers at our EDD offices for you to use in your job search. Do you have any other services available? We have information available about the job market as well as workshops. What kinds of workshops are available at the EDD? We have workshops in resume writing and interviewing, to name a few. Are there other places outside of EDD that I may look for work? College job placement services can help. Hey there, how are you doing? I am great. How are you? Well, I got laid off and I'm looking for work. Yeah, me too. What are you thinking you would like to do? Right now, I'll take about anything that will pay the mortgage. Have you gone out on any interviews so far? I went out on one interview, but I haven't heard back from them. Did you see the posting for the Electrician Apprentice Program? You know, I saw that and it looks pretty good. Let's go check it out again. Hi, is this the resume writing workshop? Yes, this is the resume writing workshop. Welcome. I really don't know that much about putting together a resume. It's easy. Don't worry about it. What's the most important part? Well, the most important thing we need to do is make sure that our name and contact information are across the top. What comes next? You can either list your job experience next or your education. 
Whichever is the most impressive should be first. Can I list my interests next? Sure, that would be a good place. Is this a class to prepare for interviews? This is the right place. Please join us. I have an interview tomorrow, so I hope I can learn everything quickly. We are all going to have great interviews. What are some things that we need to remember in an interview? I think that we should make sure that our looks are the best they can be. Right. And what about our friendliness and attitude? Yes, and being friendly and having a good attitude also help me relax. Did you know that they pay as much attention to what you ask as to what you say in an interview? No, I didn't. What else should I keep in mind? Just relax, listen carefully to the questions, and be honest in your responses. What should I do when I find a job? There are a few considerations. Is this a part-time or full-time job? Does it make a difference? Basically, you really don't need to do much of anything. On the continued claim form, you will note that you now have a new job and also note what you are earning. If I get work for a few weeks, will I be terminated from EDD? You will not mess up your job benefits by taking work. You can also come back and notify EDD that you are once again in need of assistance. Hi, I need help planning my vacation. Sure, where would you like to go? I haven't decided where to go yet. Do you enjoy warm or cold climates? I am thinking that I might enjoy a tropical climate. I have some brochures here that you might like to look at. These look great. Do you know how much you want to spend on this vacation? I have about $1,000 to spend on this trip. Well, take these brochures and get back to me when you want to make your reservations. Hi, could you help me make a plane reservation? I would be happy to help you. Where do you plan on going? I'm going to go to Hawaii. For that destination, you may leave from Los Angeles or Burbank Airport. Which would you prefer? I think that I would rather leave from Los Angeles Airport. Would you prefer a morning or afternoon departure? I need to leave in the morning. Fine. On your return flight, do you have a preference as to morning or afternoon? Mm, I would prefer to return in the afternoon. I have booked you on a flight at a great rate. Here are your tickets. Have you ever booked a flight online? I have booked airline tickets online many times. It has worked out great for me. How do you book airline tickets online? The best way is to go to a website like Travelocity or Expedia. They can help you find the best price. What information do I need to provide to book a flight? You need to know where you are going and when you want to travel. How do I get the cheapest rate? Usually, you get the best price by having some flexibility in your travel time and dates. Can I fly on different airlines? You can choose the airline you prefer to fly with or let the website find you the best deal. I would like to make a hotel reservation. What day will you be arriving? I will be arriving on May 14th. How long will you be staying? I need the room for three nights. How many people will be staying in the room? Two will be staying in the room. Would you like a smoking or non-smoking room? We need a non-smoking room. We have booked a room for you. Please be assured to arrive before 4 o'clock on your check-in date. I need to get a passport. The first thing you need to do is go to the post office and get an application. After I fill it out, where do I take it? You need to take your application to a specially designated post office. They will help you mail it to the proper place. How do I know where these agencies are? They are listed online. All you need to do is put in your zip code. Will I need to bring anything else? You also need to bring your original birth certificate and two pictures. Look at the website for details. What if I need a, a visa? You only need... I don't know how much luggage I can take on the plane with me. You need to look up each individual airline online to get their restrictions. I just wonder what the general rules are. In the United States, if you fly economy on a domestic flight, you usually have to pay for checked baggage. What about international flights? On international flights, you usually have a two-bag limit with weight restrictions. What about carry-on bags? All airlines will allow you to bring one small carry-on that will fit under the seat. Sometimes you can also bring a purse or a handbag. Do you have any words of wisdom for travelers in regard to luggage? Keep it light in regard to what you pack. 
figure out what you absolutely need, and leave the rest at home. I haven't traveled much and need to know what I can carry in my luggage. There are different considerations. You have to consider airline rules and rules for customs. How do I find out about each country's customs regulations? You can go to a website for the particular country you are interested in. Is there anything I should keep in mind for all countries? Do not ever lie about what you are carrying in your luggage. If you get caught, there is a major fine just for lying. How about regulations for what you can carry on an airline? The internet is a good source for special regulations for particular airports and airlines. I heard that I can't bring my own bottled water on the plane. You can buy water at the airport once you pass luggage inspection. Can you drive me to the airport tomorrow afternoon? I would be happy to drive you to the airport. When do you need to leave? For an international flight, the airline wants us to check in two hours in advance, so I need to leave my house at two. Do you have a lot of luggage to check in? I am only carrying one large bag and a carry-on. I'll bring our smaller car then. Do you know where you need to get dropped off? Yes, I am flying out on Singapore Air to Sydney, so I need to be at the international terminal. Will I be able to come in with you to say goodbye? Actually, with the airport regulations being so strict, you should probably just drop me off at the curb. That will work out fine. Just give me a call if anything changes. Would you be able to pick me up at the airport next Sunday? Sure, I would be happy to help you. What time are you arriving? I'll be arriving at three o'clock in the afternoon. By the time you pick up your luggage, it will be around three thirty. What if I meet you outside at the curb? That would be a good time to meet. But what if I am running late? I can track your plane online. I can just put in the flight number, and I can see if you are on time. Can you make sure that you have your cell phone with you so I can call you? Yes, that would be a good idea. If something happens and you can't make it, just let me know, and I'll, I'll book a super shuttle. Don't worry, I'll be able to pick you. Hi, could you tell me how to get my bags? Just go straight ahead down the escalator, and there will be signs directing you. Where do we clear customs? You will pick your bags up first. Should we have our passports out? You should have your passport out and your declarations form totally filled out before you get into line. My friend here is continuing on to Puerto Rico, and we were wondering if she has to go through customs. Travelers who are continuing on to another country will check it over there and be directed where to go next. Their bags have been checked through. Are there any restrooms in this area? Yes, right over there. After you pass through the line. Can you help me figure out where I should go first to check in at this airport? If you already have your ticket, we can take your bags here at the curbside check-in. How do I know what gate to go to? There are arrivals and departures listed on the screens inside. Is there some place where I can find out what I can carry in my baggage? There are signs posted near the baggage check area to help you know what the rules are. Can my friend go inside with me? Your friend can go with you to the ticket counter, but not past the security check. When I return, will this curbside area be a good place to get picked up? This area is for only for departures. The bottom level is for arrivals. Can I ask you some questions about the in-flight instructions? I would be happy to help you clarify anything you need help with. Could you help me find out where my nearest exit is? There is a card in your seat pocket that shows you where your nearest exit is. Yours is two rows in front of you. Where is my oxygen mask that you were talking about? Your oxygen mask is above you, next to the reading light. It will drop down when you need it. I am concerned about landing in the water. The life jackets are under your seat. You can also use your seat cushion as a flotation device. What is the most important thing we can do to stay safe? The most important thing you can do is keep your seat belt fastened when the captain asks you to. That rain is really coming down out there. Yes, it's kind of crazy weather outside. I get kind of nervous flying in this kind of weather. I don't think anyone feels. All that comfortable flying in a storm. Do you think it will be this bad the whole trip? On the Weather Channel, this storm looked to be a big one. It will probably be with us for a while. I worry about too much ice on the wings. I have to believe that our pilot knows what he is doing and will be okay. When do you think the pilot will turn off the fasten seatbelt sign? He'll turn it off as soon as he knows that we are through the turbulence. Do you think that we are going to crash? Maybe, you just never know. 
I was wondering if I could order something to drink. Yes, we have alcoholic beverages as well as coffee, tea, or soda. How much do drinks cost? Our alcoholic beverages are five dollars each. All others are complimentary. When will our meals be served? We will serve a snack with the beverages. Dinner will be served a few hours into our flight. What are our dinner choices? You have a choice of chicken, fish, or beef. I will be bringing a menu by shortly. I am a vegetarian and need a vegetarian meal. Oh, vegetarian meals need to be requested at least two days before your flight. I might be able to find you extra servings of vegetables. However, my flight just arrived late, and I need to know what to do. That's okay. The airline computer is keeping track of what is happening with you. Do I have to call anyone? By speaking with us at the arrival gate, we can fix the problem for you and direct you. What if there are no more connecting flights for today on this airline? We will go online to see if there is something available with this airline. If we need to, we can check for a flight with another carrier. What if I can't find another flight out here tonight? We can help you find transportation to a local hotel. Will the airline pay for my room if I have to spend the night at the airport? Since the flight delay was our fault, and you are count- continuing on with our airline, we will cover the cost of a hotel room. I just arrived and need help getting transportation to my hotel. There are shuttles, taxis, and buses that go all over the city. Which one is the best form of transportation? It depends on where you want to go. If you are going to a well-known hotel, they have their own shuttles that drop you right off at the door. Where can I catch a cab? All ground transportation leaves from the island. As you walk out of the arrival gate, where can I rent a car? The car rental agencies are against the wall as you exit. Are there any subways in this town? We have a subway system, but you need to take a shuttle to get to the station. I was wondering if you could help me book a few tours. You have come to the right place. How many days will you be visiting here? I'll be here for a week. Have you ever visited our city before? This is my first time visiting the city. What are you interested in? Do you enjoy museums and buildings, or would you rather hit some outdoor hotspots and venues? I really enjoy visiting museums and art galleries. We have tours for all interests. Do you have a city tour? Yes. In fact, I usually suggest that to visitors. I am having some big problems on this tour. What seems to be the problem? We are here to help you. This tour company seems very disorganized. No one seems to have a clear picture as to where we are going and when we are going to get there. I will see what I can do about that. How about the accommodations on the tour? So far, we have been staying in really out of the way accommodations. Is anything wrong with your room? The television in our room was broken, and they didn't send anyone to fix it. I will complain to the hotel manager about that. How about the hotel restaurant? The food in the restaurant was terrible, and a few people from our group got sick. I am so sorry that you had such a bad experience. We would like to offer you a free city tour and want you to make it up to you. Where should we go sightseeing today? I think that some things might be best done in the morning and others in the afternoon. I think that I would like to go to the beach this morning. That would be a good place to start our sightseeing. We could have breakfast there. I hear that there is a very nice natural history museum there. Yes, it would be nice to check that out since we are so close by. Where should we go in the afternoon? I think that I would like to go to the amusement park. It's supposed to be quite good. At the end of the day, I would love to take in the sunset at the restaurant by the park. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go get a map. I guess that we won't be going rollerblading today with all this rain. Yes, rollerblading in six inches of water would not be fun. What would you like to do instead? I think that maybe we could check out the local mall, grab some lunch, and maybe see a movie. Yes, that sounds like a relaxing way to check out the local culture and still stay dry. What else could we do in a bad weather? You know, we could take a double-decker bus tour of famous haunted houses and buildings. That would be fun, and the rain would only add to the atmosphere. There is an old English pub next door. Maybe when we finish with the haunted house, we can duck in there for some brew. What a great idea! If we are lucky, maybe they'll have some great food at the pub for supper. I want to look at the souvenirs over at the souvenir stand. What do you need to buy? I usually buy myself some jewelry or some clothing. I always buy a lot of things for my family. How about you? Oh yes, they practically swarm me when I get home. What are some of their favorite gifts? The teenagers like me to bring them T-shirts that you can't get anywhere else. 
This stuff is pretty expensive, isn't it? Souvenirs cost a lot for what they are, but we can shop around for better prices. Let's go across the street and see what they have over there. I am、uh, really not feeling very well. Do you think that you need to go to a doctor? I think that we should maybe check into how to find a doctor in this country. I don't know where to begin looking for a doctor here. I think that we should call the front desk to see if they can help us. I have an American Express card. I heard that their travel services are quite good. That sounds like a great idea. Do you have travel insurance? Yes, I bought travel health insurance. I'm going to call down to the office right now and see what they can do for us. I can't find my purse. What was in your purse? It contained my wallet and my passport. How much money was in your wallet? There was about two hundred dollars in my wallet, and I had some travelers check in there too. We can call American Express to deal with the travelers' checks. How about credit cards? I had a Mastercard and a Visa card. We can look at the back of my cards to get the emergency phone numbers. Where do I report that my passport is missing? We need to take a cab to the embassy to report that right away. They will help us. Is there anything special I need to think about as I tour this city? You need to keep in mind that this is a very poor country. Things are a little more desperate here than you are used to. What do I need to look for? Be particularly vigilant any time you are in a crowded place with other tourists. Pickpockets know that tourists aren't paying all that much attention. I have seen many children on the street begging. So what do I do about them? It is best not to give money to children or other beggars on the street, as they can swarm you. You can give money to a local charity. Should I be concerned about what I eat or drink? Do not drink any water that isn't bottled. Avoid street vendor food. How about being out on the street at night? I would take a cab to your destination at night. Don't walk down the street alone. This is really a fascinating city. Yes, the city is thousands of years old and has quite a history. I really love this temple we are visiting. As you enter the temple, please remove your shoes, as the others are doing. It's so quiet here. Yes, they are showing respect to their gods. People come here to pray and meditate. I noticed that the women. All have some sort of head covering. It is a tradition that women cover their heads while in the temple. I noticed that all of the people were eating with their hands at dinner last night. Yes, that is another custom that people practice here. Is this where I catch the super shuttle? Yes, this is where you catch the super shuttle. Where are you headed? I am headed home to Pasadena. You can tell where each van is headed by the name on the front of the van. I am the driver for Glendale. But your van should be along in a minute. Do you know how much it costs to get to Pasadena? I believe the cost of that trip is sixty dollars. Do you know if the shuttle goes directly to Pasadena, or does it make a lot of stops? Before you pay the driver, you need to ask him. He needs to be up front with you about the number of stops he will be making. Do I need to have exact change? You don't need exact change, but it is useful to have smaller bills. It's great to be home. Did you have a nice trip? It had its surprises, but when all was said and done, it was a good trip. What was your favorite part? I loved our full moon beach party. What were the people like? Were they friendly? The people were basically quite friendly. Did you bring me anything? I brought you a lovely souvenir that I will be giving you for your birthday next week. I can't wait until I get to be the one to go on vacation. Hello. I'd like to reserve a hotel room. That should be no problem. May I have your full name, please? My name is John Sandals. Hello, Mr. Sandals. My name is Michelle. What days do you need that reservation, sir? I'm planning to visit New York from Friday, April 14th, until Monday, April 17th. A room rate recently went up. Is that okay with you, Mr. Sandals? How much per night are we talking about? Each night will be three hundred eight dollars. That price is perfectly acceptable. Wonderful. Do you prefer a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Next question: Is a queen size bed okay? That sounds fine. Okay, Mr. Sandals. Your reservation is in our computer. All we need now is a phone number. Certainly. 
My phone number is 626-555-1739. Thank you, Mr. Sandals. We look forward to seeing you in New York. I have a reservation. My name is John Sandals. May I see your ID, please, Mr. Sandals? Certainly. Here it is. Thank you. Do you have a credit card, Mr. Sandals? Yes, I do. Do you accept American Express? Sorry, sir. Just Visa or MasterCard. Okay. Here's my Visa card. Okay. You're in room 507. It's a single queen-size bed, spacious and non-smoking. Is that suitable? Yes. It sounds like everything I expected. Here's your key, sir. If you need anything, just dial zero on your room phone. Hi. I need to request a wake-up call for tomorrow morning. What time do you want the call? I need two calls, one at 7 and another at 7.15. We can certainly do that. Expect to call from us at 7 o'clock and then again at 7.15. Actually, can I change the latter wake-up call to 7.30 a.m.? I can certainly do that. Is there anything else? I can't think of anything. If I do think of something, I'll be sure to call again. Okay. Good night, sir. Hello. The front desk told me to ask you for sightseeing advice. Of course. I'd be more than happy to help. I am, after all, the hotel's concierge. Concierge? What exactly is that? We advise you on where to visit, eat, or shop during your stay here in New York. Great. So where should I start my sightseeing? The Statue of Liberty is always a good place to begin. Well, I saw the Statue of Liberty on my last visit here. Can you recommend somewhere else? Hmm. What type of interest do you have? In my spare time, I really like to view art and go running. Aha! Have you been to Central Park or the Museum of Modern Art? No, but I've heard a lot about both. Well, Central Park is wonderful for running. Afterwards, you should head to the museum to enjoy the art. Great. That sounds like a plan. Thanks a lot. I'm sure you'll have a good time there. I need a suggestion for a restaurant here in Manhattan. Certainly. How much are you planning to spend on dinner, sir? My date's very sophisticated, so I'm sure she would expect nothing but the best. May I suggest our own hotel restaurant? It got three stars in the latest restaurant review. No, thank you. I want to go out on the town. What other ideas do you have? There's always Gramercy Tavern. They have live jazz. The food is delicious, but very expensive. That sounds like a good place to take a date. Can you make a reservation for me? As you wish, sir. You'll have a wonderful time there. I'd like to order dinner. What would you like? I'd like to order a bottle of champagne, lobster tail, and filet mignon, medium rare. I'm sorry. We're currently out of filet mignon. May I suggest the porterhouse instead? I'd prefer the filet, but the porterhouse will do. And may I suggest chocolate-covered strawberries with the champagne? Normally, I would take you up on that suggestion, but the champagne will do for tonight. Okay, no strawberries. Room service will be charged to your amenities account. Is that all right? That's fine. It will be up shortly. Enjoy your food, sir. I have a little problem with room 507. What exactly seems to be the problem, Mr. Sandals? I found cockroaches in my room. Cockroaches, sir? That's unbelievable. I've seen at least nine different cockroaches in my room. Sir, are you sure you haven't seen the same silverfish nine times? There are nine cockroaches.